the, the real importance of being able to analyze it is if we were to create steps for individual to do this same exact project, they should be able to follow it, and that's the point of it. So, um, you know, if I were to go back through and write down every step that it took to make stained glass, or every step it took to make the puppet that was inside that involved sewing and um, threading and all kinds of other things, they should be able to do it as well. Do you like him? If I had a client who had sensory issues, that was their um, deficit. Definitely the fact that the cheetah is very soft and plush is kind of more, um, they are more willing to maybe engage and touch and interact with the cheetah. So there's very a lot of soft textures, even with the leaves. The leaves are very soft textures as well. So it would kind of engage them into wanting to like touch, see, feel, because a lot of times they have issues with touching different textures. So now if they touch something soft they're more successful to touching maybe now the branches going further and further into different textures and being comfortable with them as well. Students today are presenting they're presenting projects that they completed as part of their um, graduate course uh, engineering health through creativity and over the course of the semester they used various uh, arts and crafts processes to develop their end project. Throughout this process, they've been completing something that we call an activity analysis. So they've learned the skills of being able to look at an activity that an individual might complete and analyze the types of motor skills, cognitive skills, even social demands that might go into completing the task. Then when they have a client who um, encounters some barriers to being able to do activities successfully, they can take that process and look at that activity and determine why the individual can't be successful and look at um, engineering some solutions so that the individual can be successful. It's all rooted in that occupational therapy process of understanding the client and their needs and the things that they want to do.